everyone and welcome to day 7 of the 12 days of craftmas. Today's craft is a very funny hand painted ornament perfect for 2020. For this easy project you'll need red and green craft paint, a very small paintbrush with stiff bristles, a pack of two clear Christmas bulbs from the Dollar Tree, and some toilet paper. The first step is to simply paint your design onto the bulb, and I'd like to share a couple of tips on how to make your freehand paintings a little bit better. Number one, don't think of your letters as letters. Think of them as shapes. By thinking of them as shapes, you can kind of separate the parts of the letter and focus on one small piece at a time. Number two, when you're holding the bulb in one hand and the paintbrush in the other, find some way to anchor each to something sturdy. Rest the ornament in a small container and use your pinky to balance your other hand on the side of the bulb or the table. Number three, Figure out which way you paint better. Do you paint a straighter line by drawing the paintbrush towards you or away from you? What about a curve? Do you make a better curve going up or down or left or right? For example, I paint better when pulling the paintbrush towards me and I paint a better curve when painting to the left. Number four, you don't have to keep the ornament right side up. By turning it sideways or upside down, you can put the ornament in the best position that lets you paint the way that is easiest for you. So, I would turn the ornament around and give myself the best position to pull the paintbrush towards me. Number five, slow down. It's not a rush. You don't have to go anywhere or do anything. When you sit down, you're doing this. Slow down, that's the best way to do it. Number six, focus on the exact line that you're painting right now. Do not think ahead to the next line. After you've done a couple of coats of paint on your letters and let them dry, go ahead and stuff your ornaments with toilet paper. Because what better way to represent 2020? This whole project from start to finish took me about a half an hour. So this makes for a good, quick and easy ornament to make last minute for a white elephant party or a friend you're going to lunch with or your mom or something like that. My mom loved them by the way. If you like this ornament, go ahead and like this video and subscribe to see the rest of the 12 days of Craftmas. I'll link days one through six on the left of your screen and in the description box below. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you on day eight.